It's almost time for Friday Night Lights with the high school football season just two weeks away. 23BC Sports Director Stephen Hicks now with two Valley uh, Champ appearances. Two there. Valley Champs, Tim. That's right, Bakersfield and Bakersfield Christian. The only two to hoist hardware last season. And while both have a number of returning playmakers, their coach is warning that the quest to repeat already filled with challenges. You wouldn't think this would be a problem. You wouldn't think the return of Bakersfield's key group of playmakers or Bakersfield Christian's record-setting quarterback would be an issue. But for head coaches Paul Gola and Darren Carr, too much confidence can become a problem. We'll go undefeated and uh, take league again because, yeah, that's how we do it. It's all part of the trouble with success. So we talk about that. Be more afraid of success than failure. You know, a lot of times you're successful and you just think it just, it just comes, but it doesn't. It's hard work. It's sacrifice. It's doing all the little things right. Players for both teams echo their coaches. Oh, it's harder, way harder. When, uh, when, when you think about waking up in the morning, you already got a ring on your finger. It's like, why am I doing this? Harder to practice until you find the right motivation. For both teams, it's the same goal. It's kind of weird to win a Valley Championship and then lose the last game of the season. It's not really fun. I mean, every practice, that's all I can think about is losing that game. A Valley ring is cool, but this is my last year, so we're trying to go for it all. For the Eagles, Braden Wingle will look to lead BCHS to back-to-back -to -back titles, despite what some might consider a loss in senior leadership. Is that true? Oh, no. I think we're more talented than last year. Trouble with success is that now every school is gunning for these two. But after a year on the road, the drillers are finally set for a homecoming. Nothing else can compare to it. Practicing in the shadow of Griffith Field, players already thinking about when the renovations will be complete. Set for week five when BHS hosts Ridgeview. 8,000 people just watching us play football and that should be pretty cool. It's going to feel like a college football game. It's going to feel like we're playing at BC. Everybody's packed. A new field, but BHS hoping for the same result. Woo! We got a new renovation, but hopefully we keep the same old traditions. Let's go. You wouldn't think success could be a problem. It can be, but in 2017, both the Drillers and Eagles working Let's to go. prove oh, it's not. Go. So two weeks from Friday, BHS will start the season against Edison at Centennial because Griffith Field's still under construction, and the Eagles will host Garces in the second annual Mission Bowl. And we're all excited about football, but you particularly very, very excited. excited because you get to be an early riser. That's right. You know, the late nights we can handle, uh -huh. but the early morning football practices at like 536 because of the heat. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. That's very early, yeah. Yeah, so. let's wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That just so sounds excited. awesome. I'm so ready. <laughs> cup of coffee and football goes. That's right. <laughs>